Hey, it's Meg from High Scores Arcade, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the gameplay for 1981's Amadar by Konami. Now, this game was released for the arcade by Stern of Berserk and Frenzy fame, and it was released just on the coattails of Pac-Man's success. And because it was also a maze game uh, where you ran your way through the levels collecting items, there was some familiarity in gameplay for the consumers, and it enjoyed a little bump of success because of that. But it can definitely stand on its own as a great game. It's widely credited as the first game in the subgenre of uh, grid capture games or sometimes colored line coloring games. And so um, while I don't get asked for it by name very often in the 11 years I've run an arcade, once I introduced it to somebody, they're always happy because it's a lot of fun. Now it does seem Pretty simple at first, there's only two level designs as well as a bonus level in between them. In the first level, you're playing as a gorilla capturing coconuts for points under the watchful eye of the pursuing police. In the second level, you are controlling a giant paint roller and you have to claim areas of the board with the paint roller while avoiding the pigs. I have spent many sleepless nights trying to find the metaphorical connection between these two levels. I can't find it. If you have a good theory, please comment below. But what does excellent in this game look like? There are two separate ROM sets for the game. There's the Stern version, which is widely known as the much harder version, as well as the much easier Konami version. Um, the Stern version is coming in somewhere around three and a half million as a high score. The Konami, just to show the difference in difficulties, is uh, listed as north of 19 million. So obviously a big differential there. We are only here to talk about the default score. So what is the default score? It's the one set by the manufacturer on the arcade game that says, you you must get at least this to get your initials on the board and show a general understanding of the mechanics of the game. In this case, it's 10,000. I'm going to take you through the first two boards of the game and as well as the bonus level and show you how to get there. All right, so let's look at quirky little Amadar here. Amadar only really has two level designs with some bonus levels in between. In this level, you are the ape and you are collecting coconuts for points and collecting all the coconuts will clear the board and move you on to the next level. Of course, you have to do so while avoiding your enemies, which are the Amadars themselves. In this case, I believe they're identified as police. Now, they move in pretty predictable patterns along the board. You'll see that whitish blue guy is the tracer, and he goes along the perimeter. So um, you always know where, you know, that he's limited to that action. Um, the one thing I will say is don't take that for granted, um, because sometimes you think, oh, well, that guy can only move along the perimeter, and I know, you know, I got his number. But you start to get um, distracted by the other things that you're worrying about here, and sometimes he can get you in a real casual, sly way. Now, your other ways of dealing with the enemies are um, you are given three opportunities per level to jump over them um, so you can make them jump off the board and give you opportunity to get away um, you're also given this chance when you complete all four corners of the board is a, a fleeting opportunity to um, grab some points off of them so I'm going to show you that here see oh I've just completed four boards the music changes, or four corners, the music changes. These guys become valuable to me. And again, if they're not near you, right near you when you do it, you can just grab as many as you can. But you can only obviously do that once per board. But it feels good when you do. All right. So moving on to the next one. This next one is a bonus stage, and it reminds me a little bit of Pachinko. Getting this uh, bunch of bananas is worth 5,000 points. So you want to choose where this piggy's going to head down and you're going to hope that it makes all the choices that you want to grab that 5,000 point bunch of bananas. Now in this one, you are playing as a commercial painter and you have to paint, um, you have to claim the squares as you did in the last level, but you have to do so with your paint roller and you have to do so in adjacent manner. So you have to only, um, you can only really work on getting the squares that are right up against the squares that you've already completed because otherwise you will run out of um out of paint on your roller so um you have to kind of start from an already completed square to complete them and in this case because you're so limited with that i find the best thing to do is just 
paint the board while these piggies are doing something else. So while they're up north, you want to be up south and uh, patience will take you a long way on this level because you're going to want to go ahead and uh, kind of speed through the way that you've been doing, but it's not going to work. So each of the squares are worth what they say they're worth and completing all the squares will bring you to the next level. So again, I'm gonna take my time. These piggies are making their way down. I don't want any part of that. So I'm just gonna mind my business on my side of the screen. Wait till they're done down there. Take my time getting over there. Bye bye, piggies. That's it for today. If you're new to High Scores Arcade, we are collectors and preservationists of classic arcade games with over 160 games in our collection here in Northern California, a portion of which is playable at our public arcade in Alameda in San Francisco's East Bay. If you want to be a part of our mission or just want to watch, please like, subscribe, share our content. And if you want to help support our preservation efforts, we invite you to visit highsquaresarcade.com slash donate to do just that. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.